Hi, good morning. I'm Tracy Bottoms. I am a white status presenter for Unique. And I am going to talk to you about brows. When you're doing your makeup, your brows are very important. If you're a lucky person that has awesome eyebrows that you can just uh, maintain without enhancing them, you're extremely lucky. Unique has a brow obsession palette that has five components. It has a eyebrow wax, it has a darker color, a lighter color, a cleanup color, and a highlight color. When you're doing your brows, you are supposed to um, not start with a blunt pencil. Start with a um, knowledge of where your brows are supposed to start, where they're supposed to arch, and where they're supposed to end. And there's a three-point um, plan to this, I guess. Technique. That's what it is. It's a technique. And the start of your brows, I'm going to use this um, black eyeliner in Perfect, just for demonstration purposes. The start of your brows should be right here, up the corner of your nose, right there, okay? And the arch of your brow, you lay your pencil across your eye, and it should come right across the collar of your eye, and you put a mark there, if you can see that. And then the outer corner, you come from your nose across the outer corner of your eye, and it should be right there. You can see that. So start here, arch here, end here. And then there are several methods. You can do the other one, same way. Start here across the color of your eye. It's just a guide, <clears throat> a guide so you know where your brows are supposed to be. And then across the outer corner of your eye, right there. See if I can put a dot on there. I didn't even put a dot on here. Right there, okay? Now I'm going to take a small, brush that I used to do my eyebrows with, this one. Unique has a brow artist brush, which I do not have yet. I would love to try that when I get it. The first thing you're supposed to do is take this wax and put on your eyebrows. I guess maybe that's the last thing you're supposed to do. But, but, I like to take the, eye, the wax and put it on my eyebrows first because it helps the color stick to my eyebrows. I'm going to do them just a little different than I usually do. I'm going to follow from that dot area up to the arch area and then down to that ending dot. And your eyebrows are not really supposed to be the same. Just close. They say they're not and we're going to take this darker color and we're going to go in just past the beginning up to that arch point 
And we're going to go down to that ending point. I'm going to do this just a little wider right here because I have a little place that kind of got messed up when I was had my last waxing. My brow got a little dip in it. And we're gonna come, I'm going to come just underneath here. Everybody does this differently. Some people draw under their eyebrow and on top of their eyebrow and then fill in. I don't have much brow, so I don't do that. I'm going to start midway back. So I go up to that arch point. And then down to the ending point. One is a lot more pointier than I thought it would be, but we're gonna go with it. Just fill in. Just fill in. I made a mistake, and I'll show you how to use the cleanup for that. And then I like to clean my brush off a little bit and go in with the lighter color. In the, in the beginning of your eyebrow and it depends on what you're doing how what your shape your eyebrows I like mine to be more rounded and not square some people like to make them more square up here in the front and again I just made a boo-boo and I'm just filling in with the lighter color In the beginning there. Just make little short strokes. Makes it more natural looking. Like I said, I you know, my eyebrows are really supposed to be out to this dot, but I don't have any hair out there. You can go out that way. But I won't. But that is how to tell where your eyebrows are supposed to start. Hopefully yours, you have hair out there. I've tweezed my eyebrows since I was 11 years old. So, because I had really thick, bushy unibrow. And now you take same type brush. Um pretty much the same size. I just use a different one for as I knock everything off. You take the pink and you go in and I'm going to use my magnifying mirror. And you go in and you use the pink to clean up any place you went out of the lines You can also use some concealer. If you use a concealer brush, you can use some concealer and go right along this edge and it will clean up any mistakes you have. Like I said, I don't like my brows to be square. I like them to be more round. And I am not an expert at doing eyebrows, but that helps. And when you have foundation on, it doesn't look so strange. Or I think it looks strange, but that's just because I'm not. And then the highlighter you can use to go right here under your brow to accent when you have your eyeshadow done. Like just over the top of them. And it's somewhat of a cleanup, also. But it gives you.
gives you that little pop. Makes your eyebrows stand out. And your concealer brush, if you want, you can go back in with some wax, with the eyebrow wax. And you can kind of help keep your eyebrow hairs laying down somewhat. Kind of just go over the top, kind of smooth them down. And that's what there is to the technique of where your eyebrows should be. Your concealer brush can also be used for cleanup. You put just a tad bit, or if you've put your makeup on and you're you still have concealer on your brush, which is what I usually do because I use it to put my concealer under my eyes. And even if you have places that are dark, if you use eyebrow pencil to do your eyebrows, you can take your concealer and cover up that pencil. Those pencil marks I made, which are off the mark from what I need. And if you had your eyeshadow on and your foundation and such, this would work a bit better. That's what you do. You just use your concealer to cover up. And you can use that to go along your eyebrows and make a really straight, clean line. It just depends on, you know, how you want to do your eyebrows. And that's about it. And I was like, yours will probably be much better than mine. Depends on how long you've been doing it. I have not been doing eyebrows very long, so. But that is the technique. Start here, arch here, end here. From the corner of your nose, over, up, and up. And that'll help you have somewhat of a symmetrical feeling to your eyebrows. I hope this has been helpful. If you'd like to look at the Brow Obsession palettes, you can go to my website, findourmagic.com, and look around, shop around. They have eyebrow pencils um, that Brow Artist brushes on there. If you have any questions, send me a message. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you.